How about this? The next time a hog runs uphill, we just wait for it to come back down. Lazy, lazy man. I've built hog traps. Why are we even doing this? What's up? Look at this spear. Isn't it exactly the same as the cannibals that brought me here? So they were here more than once. I suspect more than often, until you drove them away. This man must have escaped. And they hunted him down. Why didn't they eat him? There's a ritual. It is not enough just to die. You must die their way, in the proper place. There must be a place of sacrifice somewhere near here. They roam the islands, consuming souls in the form of human flesh. They fear no one, and everyone fears them. Except for you, Crusoe because I drove them away. This is where he ran away from. The power of a man lingers in his bones. They deserve more than this. I didn't drive them away. Well, they did not come back. This was a recent fire. Do you not think they'll have learned by now, Crusoe? They are mad, not stupid. From now on, we stay away from this part of the island. Now who's mad? I'm not spending the rest of my days cowering in the treehouse. We have to be careful with fires. No smoke in daylight. Friday, nothing's changed. We have guns, they don't. We have traps near the beach and a home we can defend. Oh, you do not know them, Crusoe. You resist them once they come back twice as fierce. These are men without race, tribe, or family. Long Pig has taken over. Long Pig? Human flesh. Live off it as they do. Before too long, your mind is destroyed. Stay close to me. Keep near to the path. So, they're more of a gang than a tribe. I do not expect you to understand. Oh, but I do. London was a jungle. Your politics or religion made you fair game. So I understand about gangs. I do indeed. <sighs> Let's set the other ones. It would work better with pigeons. I know. But we ate them all. So if anybody uses these paths, the parrot will fly free and head for the food at the treehouse. Mm. Meet me halfway on this Friday. I don't know what else I can do. Nothing. You are being a good friend. I'm trying to understand. It must have been a terrifying experience for you. It was, but I'm still alive.
I suppose you could say that as a young boy, I consumed my grandfather. I'm sorry? And my grandfather's father. I'm sorry, no. That, <laughs> that went over my head wider than a Spanish cannibal. What? <laughs> I told you that one day I'll explain this to you. Well, today is the day. Yes, but explain what? You know my people practice a form of cannibalism. Yes, you enjoy reminding me, especially when we're low on goat meat. <laughs> but we have never tasted the flesh of men. Only bones, only family. Oh. Well, that's perfectly acceptable. We do not see human flesh as food. You would call it a symbolic act. We keep the dried bones of our dead, and we grind them to dust. Adding that dust to what we eat gives us the strength of our ancestors. Ground up bones. It's one way. Do you burn your dead? Only when there's plague. So you do not keep the ashes? Not in the kitchen. Huh. without looking. I don't think anybody could do it without me. Watch me. If you get one now, it's gonna be purely by accident, that's uh, it. Okay, now, in my mind, I see with eyes in my head, and I think, if I'm that fish, which way will I go? See? Take our weapons and go to the other end of the island. Or we should take that boat. You cannot be serious. If we stay on this island, they can still find us. If we take their boat, they can't follow us. Crusoe, it is suicide. It's providence. Imagine the look on the leader's face. He will be furious. You like the idea, though, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Susanna's Bay. Fat Crab Beach. What? Fat Crab Beach? No guards posted. It looks that way. Let's go. Why do you call it Fat Crab Beach? Why do you call it Susanna's Bay? Because it's a place of great beauty. And Fat Crab Beach just doesn't do it for me. Let's get off this island. Captives. Do you think maybe we can leave them? We cannot.
Let's get on with it. Why are they stopping? For banana leaves. To use for steam in the cooking fire. To wrap up whatever they do not eat. They use a powder to preserve the meat. Powder? Saltpeter? Saltpeter's a preservative. I think it's fairly explosive as well. They'll be heading toward the hog wallows. Where the hog traps are. We need to get ahead of them. Not get the other one. It's all right. It's not your fault. Did you see the leader? Huh? He recognized me. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. We'll have you out of here in a second. Mm. You, Santana, of all the stinking ship rats. Let us give him back. Santo Santana. I spit on your name. Please let me kill him. Not yet. But he abandoned us. He laughed in our faces as he sailed away. He left us here to rot. He does not deserve to live. We just risked our lives trying to save his. Let's at least hear his story. Then can I kill him? That depends. Padre Nuestro que estás en el cielo, les pido la What's he saying? Padre Nuestro que estás en el cielo, les pido la benedicción y que se queden en el cielo sus almas. He is praying to your God, asking him to bless us and to let our souls pass into your heaven. Take my life if you must. That will only be justice. But in the name of our Savior, I ask one thing from you. And what is that? Let me go back and rescue the other captive. You? Is an islander like you? Much like you, in fact. And a man for whom? I would gladly sacrifice my own life. A man like you doesn't sacrifice anything for anyone. What can I say to you? I am changed. I do not think so. What happened to you? I was on the ship, returning home to Spain. But the sea got into our drinking water, and we had to stop in one of the islands for a fresh supply. I was separated from the party and taken. There you are. He's mad. He has been drinking seawater. I wish that I was mad. And then I wouldn't be haunted by the horrors that I've witnessed. This man and I were bound together. He speaks English and many other tongues. He helped me to have hope and to find once again my God. Do not trust him. I don't. Not an inch. Please help me. Grant me a musket and powder and a good knife so that I might go in free, my redeemer. Now he wants a gun. Believe me, please. I will do you no harm. Because if you do, I will kill you before you even touch him. Must be quick. They will soon start preparing him. For slaughter! That should be Santana. A few more adjustments and we can reset it. 
You don't believe him? No. What should we do about it? I really think we should kill him. I can't kill a man in cold blood, Friday. And before you ask, no. No what? I don't think you should either. We have to do something, though. I was going to suggest that we should give him a head start, just to be fair. What if he's telling the truth? You heard what he said, and you've been through what he went through. Educate me on this Friday. Wouldn't that change a man? Born with a good heart. But Santo Santana would have tortured and killed us for that gold. And now he's a saint. I do not see it. We left that poor soul to die. What if Santana can make a better job of rescue than we did? Have you no memory of what he tried to do to you? You have told me stories about your life before the island. You trust far too easily, Crusoe. Remember what that has done for you in the past. It's true. My father told me to earn honor, you must offer your trust and expect the same in return. There was a time I did not think it possible to be betrayed by family. Hmm. It does look as though the ship's been seized and the crew arrested. What about the cargo? Forget it, Robin. You'll have to stand the loss and that's all there is to it. At least you don't have a Spanish rope round your neck. But you said the crew would be safe. Only if the letters of Mark are respected by the enemy. They often aren't. Can we make up the loss on the other ships? I don't think you've quite understood, Robin. This is your ship we're talking about? But we're a syndicate. We share the losses. He's right. I remember this. One ship, one share, allocated at the discretion of the fund manager. Who is? Mr. Samuel Tuffley. So, uh, I lose everything and they lose nothing? What kind of a syndicate is that? It's all very clear in the contract. Not to me, it wasn't. Why didn't you warn me? Had I been engaged to advise you, I would. But I was engaged by Mr. Tuffley. I spoke to my father. What does he think of his son's businessman? I think he knew what was going on. What? That doesn't make any sense. He said I was welcome to return to his home at any time. Well, maybe you should, because I've been wiped out. We'll go to the law. I don't care if he's my brother. The law's on his side. You told me once that trusting a Spaniard is like trusting a snake. On behalf of my countrymen, I forgive you. And by the way, from the latest news I heard, I'm no longer your Spanish enemy. Though, that may have changed again. Your English politics are so very hard to follow. For a moment there, you almost had me convinced. I wasn't lying. I'm doing this to save a true friend. I pity any soul you call a friend. Turn around. Both of you. My ship is two days away from here by canoe. It sails in three. If I succeed with this, you'll be on it. How does that make you feel? I'd be more inclined to believe you if I wasn't standing at the point of my own gun. You know that golden cannon you were so willing to kill for? We found it, and we threw it off a cliff. I can show you the spot. You could die for it, I'll hold your coat. He 
is going to steal the candy boat's boat. It is still here. Perhaps he was telling the truth. Why did you stop me? I stopped you from committing suicide. If I'm going to save my friend, I have to kill those man-eaters. Not with those odds. You'd have only ended up dead yourself. Three paths that lead to the beach where the cannibals landed. Once we have the captive, we'll have to take one of these back to the boat. Those we have not killed will surely follow. But that is where Crusoe is very clever. I have man traps rigged on all the paths. There is only one way that this will work, though. Those that fight alongside each other have to trust each other. I give you my solemn word as a gentleman, if you give me yours. What about that of your men? He does not belong to me. His word is his own to give. I will give you my word that if you break this truce, I will eat you myself. I apologize for calling you Cruiser's man. I understand that you are as much a brother to him as Balaam is to me. What kind of trick is this? What trick is this? Crusoe, uh, do not believe him. Do not. This man. Friday! What did you say to him? Nothing that you did not hear. You will not die. I thought you were gone. I will come 
that for you. Any signs? No. What made him do that? It's not like him. I don't know. But he was that prisoner like me. I know what he went through. He's scared. He did not run away. You know your man. He's not my man, Santana. He's my friend. As good as any I've ever had. And I've been fortunate in my friends. There are guards on all the city gates. And boat patrols on the Thames. I need to be able to come and go. Why? To ride out to the West Country and bring in new stock or face even greater ruin. The West Country, is that the reason? It's where my weavers are. It is also where the Duke of Monmouth is raising an army and they've closed the gates to stop anyone from London joining him. I'm not joining his rebellion. I hope not, Robin, I hope not. I'm not out to make anyone my enemy. So what can I do? I need a pass to leave the city. I think we can arrange that. Crusoe, where have you been? Holding cages. You entered their camp? Alone? I wanted to see if what you said was true. About the cages? About Balaam. You know this man? Balaam is my father. He thought I was dead. They think I am dead. Because I left home one morning and never returned. Just like you. Yes. But at least we'll be able to reunite you with your father. They have no pistols, but each man is a very fierce warrior and is not afraid to die. Then our pistols will be happy to oblige. And my arrows. Pistol is good for one shot at close range. After that, we fight. Gruzo, if we come out of this alive, I give you my solemn word that I'll do everything in my power to get you back to England. I believe this may belong to you. Thank you. If I show myself, I can draw them away. In my day, no man could run as fast as me in the Spanish army. And there's a bunch of fellows who can really run. Salt Peter. They have lit the fires. The ceremony of sacrifice has begun.
tribe are these people? No tribe. They are a scourge. Limbs of Satan. If you are insane and you lose your soul, it does not matter who you are. Anyone can join them. Anyone? As long as you can hold your own with their savagery. There was a Frenchman amongst them once, but he's gone now. When they cannot find prey, they turn on each other. This way. Yes, I know you remember me. I shot a couple of your mates. And then I smacked one of them in the nose with the butt of my rifle. Yes, that's right, it's Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe. No! I told you I'd be big. I was waiting. I'm all right. It's nothing, I'm all right. Are you sure? You came back to rescue me. I couldn't leave you with those savages. They'll be coming for us. And you are too wounded to make it to the canoe before they catch us. I'm sorry, it's my fault. No, don't say that. I must reach my ship before it sails without us. Look, if I can draw them out, the three of you can take their canoe. Balaam, can you navigate to Santana's ship? Yeah, I can. Good, then do it. Friday. I think you should go with them. You can trust my father to bring back Santana's ship to rescue us. Nothing will stop him. But you, you will not survive a day here without me to watch your back. Okay, let's hurry. We'll get them to follow us. Let them run past you, then head down to the beach. Take the boat. I'll return for you, Crusoe, or I'll die in the attempt. You have my word. I have no doubt. Die if you must. But first, you make sure my father is safe. If I gave you my solemn word, would that mean anything? I think now it will. Nothing will persuade you to live with us. No, father. You were most selfish once. <laughs> when I was young. And now, you've changed. You know more about yourself when there's only one other person to share your world with. He has been a good teacher to you. Science, English, <laughs> white man's medicine. The world is so much bigger than we ever knew. It doesn't matter where you go in it. Never forget who you are. 
I have learned a lot from Crusoe. He has been a good friend. However far you roam, you'll always be in my heart. You were never lost to me. The next time I see you two, it better be on the prow of a tall masted ship in Susanna's Bay. wanted this for a very, very long time. be coming back. I have a good feeling about this. This time it will happen. Oh. How about you? I'm a happy man. My father lives and he knows I am alive. This looks good. I need building up. I don't want Suzanne to think I'm getting scrawny. Mm. There's plenty more. No signs of any cannibals? No, no sign. You've taken count of every last one. Oh, yes, yes. 
Well, nearly. Nearly? As soon as we finish this, 